Special K, Super Acid, and K are all street names for a drug that is not widely talked about in Athens, Ohio. Ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic mainly used to tranquilize animals like cats or horses. Ketamine is used recreationally here in Athens and BBC reports that it tops cocaine as the top drug of choice in places like Great Britain. Ketamine is just kind of a blissful experience. It's like halfway between like a like exploration of your conscious and a party drug. Many people experiment with drugs to discover alternate perceptions of reality. Like sometimes I'll do it just to have fun and walk around funny and like have a great time and sometimes I'll do it to like really have a deep conversation with people. Like I've sat down and had like just like pretty serious conversations on the drug. Some people do not have such a positive outlook on the use of ketamine especially some who have been exposed to the negative consequences on their peers. In my opinion and experience, ketamine just makes you completely disassociated from the environment that you're in. <laughs> if a user consumes a large amount of ketamine, they may enter into what is called a K-hole. Some people describe experiences in which they imagine rats to be in their cabinets and other things that are not present in any way. Some drugs are scary, but like it's a lot less dangerous than most drugs you can be doing. It, it does have some health hazards, but like in actually dying doing it, you would really have to be trying to do it or mixing yeah, it with other yeah, things. To have different kinds of personality, you know that. Might Dr. Julie Sir is a neuropsychologist at Ohio University who specializes in such effects on the brain. They've abused. Um, ketamine has known effects. Some at certain doses, it can certainly have respiratory effects, cardiovascular effects. It, does have a risk of death. Ketamine is in the same class of drugs as propofol, which is the last drug administered to Michael Jackson before he was found dead in an intensive care unit. Knowing the dangers of drugs, people still continue to abuse them for the benefit of perceiving the world differently. So whenever I'm spinning poi, I feel a lot more connected to like what I'm doing or like if I have a different hobby or if like even skateboarding, I'll like feel more in tune with what I'm doing with my like limbs. I can just like, it feels like an extension of my body. And while people might perceive that as a positive thing, they're actually harming the brain to do that. So it is not benign, it is not useful, and there are other ways one can feel at one with nature and the universe that don't involve psychoactive substances. Yoga, exercise, eating right, and practicing meditation are only a fraction of the countless amounts of activities that one can engage in that will produce the euphoria sought for. Yet people are still using dangerous narcotics. Boom. It's not like other recreational drugs that like enhance your personality and like your relationships and like the situations that you're having, but instead it just like makes you forget and not even know what's going on. If you take enough of it, you're definitely gonna like feel disassociated from reality. Like it depends on how much you take. Like it just varies the amount. Like the more, the, like the deeper you go into it, the more you're gonna disconnect from yourself. And like eventually you'd end up in like a K hole where you're not really gonna be part of yourself at all. You're gonna be pretty much passed out. For WUB News, this is Jordan Simmons. <laughs>